Hello, hello. Today I will actually briefly uh, interrupt my spree of visiting older ships and I'm gonna have a look at the Kutuzov. Now the matchmaking is pretty damn nasty as you can see. I'm up against mostly tier 10s, some tier 9s, not really many tier 8s at all, which is quite common these days for tier 8. Now the map is Trap and uh, well my DDs have spread out quite nicely which is pretty rare they're all going for a single cap or uh, they've all spread out for an individual cap three DDs three caps that's always nice to see and I'm of course moving up near the Kaba near B to see if I can back up my friendly uh, Kaba here in case they try to contest this cap which it looks like they are doing a Des Moines pops up on the radar and I don't really want to be engaging a Des Moines because of ra his radar and in general his AP and gunpower makes it quite nasty for me. Now the point of this commentary is actually to highlight um, how important the smokes are and how to actually use them on the Kutuzov. I very often see, the, uh, see Kutuzovs who blow their smokes on the silliest things like um, sometimes I spot the Kutuzov in my DD and the first thing they do is smoke up even though I have no backup and there's no one all around who can shoot them. They just panic smoke and uh, they bl then I go and torp the smoke. Sometimes I get a kill, sometimes I force them out of the smoke. I mean, usually it's just so stupid. People are way too panicky with their smokes. You might notice that it's already, th it's already three minutes into the game at this point. I haven't shot a single shot and I haven't used a single smoke. Now, even if you run superintendent, and premium consumables, you're still only going to have three smokes. And it's very important on the Kutuzov that you make those three smokes count. You cannot waste them because the Kutuzov relies so so heavily on that smoke cover to be able to deal damage because it's far too squishy, especially when you're up tiered like this, you're facing tier 10 matchmaking, it's far too squishy to be able to sail around in the open and just happily deal damage. And um, it's also you have to you have to rely on it so heavily that it's also often not worth exposing your position by firing. You might notice I'm not firing. I could fire at this Hindenburg. In fact, there's not many people who could probably shoot me too much, but it's not worth letting them know where I am. In fact, that's something you also often see. People, uh, when they're sailing to a position with the Kotosov, let's say I'm sailing towards A here, and on the way I start firing, and then I let everyone know I'm there. Uh, the battleships, for example, battleship, if he was planning on slowly advancing in nose, forth, no, nose first, he's not going to be doing that. Why would he take the risk? He knows there's Kutuzov there. In fact, you notice it's four minutes into the game, 60 minutes on the game timer. Four minutes into the game, and that's the first time I start firing. Uh, first time I smoke up, and first time I start firing. I position myself far enough away from uh, B that the radar can't really reach me. If they're hiding behind this island and trying to radar, they can't really reach me from there. And... Um, the DDs are most likely not going to be torping this position. And of course, looking at the minimap, we can tell that my team is pushing for C, and we have almost no presence. Well, we have a Minotaur alone at B, who's probably going to die, and we have a Shima who's delaying them at A. So the reason I smoke up here is because I want to delay them as much as possible, because this, is start this game is starting out pretty horridly so far. Uh, my team is far out of position they're all slowly moving up to sea and it's going to take them ages to get anything done so i am smoking up here because i want to delay their push if i don't delay their push at a they're going to regroup at b and then they're going to steamroll my 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 group uh, or what i have left at c so the whole purpose here is to slow them down as much as possible we're already down three ships we have 175 points this game is quickly going to hell here so the point of this position is slow them down, slow them down as much as possible. And um, you saw I had, I had zero damage when I popped the smoke. And I want to keep an eye out on the damage counter this game because I want to kind of highlight um, the purpose of each smoke. My smoke is running out. The smoke timer you can see uh, on the screen right there how it's ticking down. You can enable that in options and I highly recommend doing that. Hindenburg does see me i am spotted instantly start getting focused and targeted that's okay though uh, as long as you're not giving too broadside in the ship yes you will eat damage but you shouldn't eat catastrophic damage um i'm keeping myself angled so i can shoot at this guy for now but i'm gonna turn away r rather quickly because if we look at the minimap we can see there's two battleships down south at uh, a 
that can easily shoot at me. So we want to make sure we don't give them too much broadside. And the same thing, of course, happening at B. So we're just going to be disengaging and trying to get out of this position. Well, actually, we don't really want to get out of this position. This is a pretty good position. The problem is that right now we don't have a smoke ready. So what I'm doing here is just kiting, avoiding, dodging, as, uh, and just waiting for my smoke cooldown to come off. So the first smoke, we look at our damage. We have about 62k damage. And my next smoke comes up. I pop the smoke. I start slowing down. And I disappear again. So first smoke netted us about 62k damage. And the second smoke comes up. And of course, uh, being able to uh, quickly repop a smoke and disappear from vision like this is why I highly, highly recommend using the premium consumables. If I didn't have the premium consumable there, it's very likely I would have died. In fact, I'm almost certain I would have died with all the firepower coming my way. Uh, it would have been very, very chancy to try to survive that situation. So premium consumables, absolute must-have. Now you see my team has finally gotten... C, but you see how slow they are. We still have a Montana in our spawn. They're really dragging their feet trying to get moving into B. It's taking them so so long and uh, Mashima and North Carolina are in the spawn with me. So let's just say that this game is still hanging on a knife's edge. So I need to slow them down and that's kind of what I'm doing. And also this position I have actually grants me the opportunity to dislodge some of these uh, quite strong positions the enemy have. You see the Baltimore and Des Moines? They're hiding here behind the island and shooting over the island. But I can shoot at them from here. I don't do a lot of damage. In fact, you saw how little damage I did to that Baltimore. But the important thing is I forced him to move. And if I force him to move, he's going to have to expose himself to the enemy team shooting from the other side. Torps coming into the smoke, not surprising considering we have very little spotting. One of the DDs uh, probably threw them out just before he died. But that's of course why I'm constantly moving. You notice that I'm not, if you look at my speedometer down in the bottom left, you can see I'm pretty much always moving in my smoke. Now, this is something you kind of learn in competitive because you get shot so much in the smokes, people uh, fire into your smokes happily. Uh, but it's something you should keep in mind. Never be completely still. It takes so long to accelerate and not only do you have a smaller chance of being wrecked in the smoke by some battleship shooting you, but if torps arrive you're already on the move which gives you far more maneuverability to dodge them. That was the second smoke out. Now we're at what? 125k damage? So that's another 60k we've added to our damage with the second smoke. And we're kiting away. I stopped shooting now. Oh, never mind, Des Moines. He's, he's still within range, and it's pretty important to get rid of this Des Moines, actually. I could use AP here, but honestly, IFHE HE is so, so strong. My team still dragging their feet at sea, still very, very, very slowly crawling south. It's taken them half the game just to cap C, and it's still taking them so long to actually move towards that cap. But my second smoke comes up, which is great. Or my third smoke, sorry. This is my third and final smoke. In fact, you notice that uh, I popped my first smoke at 60 minutes, and I'm popping my last smoke here at 10 minutes. I've been doing no I've been pretty much non-stop fighting ever since I popped my first smoke, and gaining the absolute maximum efficiency I can out of these consumables. Montana looks like he's parked full broadside. I don't know if he grounded or something. He thinks he can shoot at them for free, but uh, a target like this is, of course, very, very tempting for a Kukosov. Instant fire on him. Is he going to damage con it? Hasn't damaged con yet. Let's see if I can get a fire on the Iva while we wait. Because I am expecting... When, when battleships are that low, they tend to repair instantly, because they can't really deal with the dot damage, and he does, in fact, repair it. So I set the fire on the Iowa in between. I haven't really had the best fire RNG in this game. I mean, 215 hits, 11 fires. That's pretty shitty RNG. But that's okay. I pop uh, defensive AA because I saw a fighter plane around. I want to see if I could shoot it down. But it's not really my priority to kill it. I The Torps on the Iowa, I don't expect them to land. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to die when the smoke runs out. I just want to cause the maximum amount of damage before I do go down. I get a second fire, this time one that the Montana cannot repair. Um, now I need to make sure I can finish him. I got 15 seconds of smoke left, but my goal honestly is to make sure this Montana dies. I am spotted, my smoke is fading. 
try to get into my second smoke, but I think it's too late for me here. And I do finally go down. But I have a fire he can't repair, and I do get the final volley out on him. And the combination of all this damage I've accumulated on him is probably going to burn him down. And my team has now finally, finally arrived at B. They have finally arrived at B. And, well, you look at, looking at the enemy health bars and their positioning, they have been so distracted, they've been chasing me and the Shima around in our spawn. Um, they have spent so much time focusing on us that my team um, manages to pretty much get C or B for free and actually manage, it, manage to turn this game around. And now the reason I, which of course finally leads to our victory, looking at the score, 830k credits, very nice, but it is a premiership. Uh, this is of course my American account, hence the name. Nice, nice chunk of uh, XP, and you look at the damage, 203,000 damage. I started my first, I started firing, and my first smoke at what 60 minutes, and then I died around what 10, 11, uh, with 10 or 11 minutes played, I died. So in that short duration of time, I blew through all my smokes, and I did over 200,000 damage. So that was pretty much the maximum efficiency I could squeeze out of the smokes. I had always had something to shoot at when I was smoked up. I always had something to deal damage to. I was always delaying, harassing, basically being a nuisance. But I was also always outside of range of any radars that could force me out of my smoke. So that was pretty much the maximum power I could squeeze out of the smokes um, during the time I had them. And that also shows how important the free smokes are. You only have three of them, but if you use them well, you can get so much damage squeezed out of those consumables. And looking, I only actually got one kill, 12 fires, as I said, not really the best RNG. But looking at the team score, well, the team score really tells the story, doesn't it? Uh, the tier eight, uh, tier 8 cruiser, 2.7k base XP, beating all the tier 10s. And my team, well, we of course won this game pretty comfortably because the enemy team wasted so much time and it took so much damage trying to just move uh, north from A, where me, uh, me and the Shimo were constantly slowing them down. And looking at finally the detailed report, 249 HE hits, not that much damage, 108, but then again another 90k from the fires. The reason why the fires deal so much is of course I always made sure I put fires on targets that had blown their repair. In fact, time spent in battle 11 minutes. And t actual battle time of that, considering we started at 16, is what, uh, 7 minutes? 7 minutes spent in battle. And in those 7 minutes we did 200,000 damage and we topped the scoreboard. So that really shows how much power you can squeeze out of the Kutuzov. Even though it's just another HE spammer, uh, the HE spam shouldn't be underestimated. A pretty amusing stat here is actually the p potential damage. 1.5 million, which is a lot more than you usually get in the Kutuzov, and that was of course because I was kind of fighting for my life, dodging shells and moving from smoke to smoke, and just leapfrog leapfrogging away from them until I finally ran out of smokes and died. Anyway, I thought this commentary was a pretty important showcase of just how important it is to hold on to your Kutuzov uh, smokes and how to plan them out, especially if you play solo. I mean, if you got a DD with you, it's a completely different story. You got someone who can smoke you up and so forth. But when you play solo, like I did in this game, then it's very important that you you conserve the smokes and you use them where you can get the maximum efficiency out of them. Because your damage output relies so, so heavily on this consumable when you play this ship. Fighting out in the open is not the Kutuzov's thing, and you shouldn't even attempt to do it, because, well, all it takes is one lucky volley, and half your HP pool is gone. Anyway, that was my uh, short detour into premium Kutuzov territory. I hope you guys enjoyed it.